Let's take a look at the brush clip modifier for geometry mode. Now brush clip allows you to slice through a BSP brush as if you had a cutting laser. Using the properties you can determine whether you're going to keep one half of the brush or the other half or if you actually just want to keep them both and as a result have two new brushes. Now it's pretty easy to use but in order to show off all of the features I can't really use the builder brush because you can't have two builder brushes so I can't slice them in half and have two separate ones. So what we're going to do is select our builder brush and here in my viewport I'm going to hit control A and slide the red builder brush out of the way. Now currently I'm in brush wire frame mode which is just making it easier for me to select these brushes here in perspective and what I'm going to do is enter brush clip mode. Now I call it mode but basically we've entered the brush clip passive modifier. Okay now let's take a quick look at the settings flip normal and split. These will actually make more sense after we create our very first split. Now using the brush clip modifier requires that you use the orthogonal views and here's why. If you take a close look there's a little tiny white box which is currently chasing my cursor around the map. As a matter of fact if I take my drag grid and I lower it down to say well, 64 might be extreme. Let's try 32. There you go. So now that box is really easy to see. This box allows you to control where you're going to drop a clip marker. So without even trying to describe what those do, let's just talk about dropping those. If we move the mouse to say right about here and tap the space bar, actually make sure you have focus in the viewport before you do that, you can tap the space bar and we're going to create a single clip marker. Now, as I drag around, we get an interesting rubber band line that's kind of connecting to a second box. We also get a perpendicular line leading off of that rubber band line. That perpendicular line is a normal, and that's telling us which way this clip is facing. Now, what I'm going to do is tap the space bar again, and we end up with an actual clipping marker. This is kind of like an infinite plane that we've just defined. We've given it an angle, and now it's ready to slice through a brush. All I need to do is select the brush that I'd like to slice. So in this case, I'll just select my additive brush, and I can click Apply and watch what happens when I do. Half the brush disappears. Now I'll deselect to make it a little easier to see. We lost the half of the brush that was on the side of our normal. So that's important to keep in, keep in mind. Now what I'm going to do is reset. So uh, let's go ahead and just delete out this brush. And we'll clear out the clipping markers. I'll just jump into edit mode and move the viewport and that gets rid of those. Now let's grab our red builder brush again. And I'm going to make a new additive brush. So I'll just hit control A again. And we'll move the, the red builder brush one more time. Now once again I'm just going to tap spacebar to put down a marker. Tap spacebar to put down another marker. Now let's talk about the settings. So we the first setting we have is flip normal. If we check this, select our brush and hit apply, notice this time we keep the part of the brush that is on the side of the normal. It doesn't actually flip the normal around, so you won't notice any change. It's just when you split that it's actually going to delete the opposite side of the brush uh, from the normal. That's really all there is to it. Now I need another brush, so let's just drive the red builder brush over here. I'll hit control A again and slide the red builder brush out of the way. Our third option is split. So if we, actually I think that's our second option, but don't tell anybody I said that. Now what I'm going to do is come over here and drop down a couple of new clipping markers. We'll select the brush, check split, and click apply. Now check out what we've got. We have two individual brushes. So it actually kept both halves, and we can separate those from each other, and there you go. So if we come over and take a look at what we've got over here in perspective, you see we've just split the brush up. So it's really all there is to it. It's just when you need to cut through a brush, if a brush is sticking out too far, or you need to you know, maybe bevel its edges or chop off a corner, this is the tool you're going to reach for. So that is a very quick look at the brush clip mode, which is going to wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.